everybody, it's Joe from greenlightsound.com, and today we're going to take a look at a newly updated plugin from DDMF, and that is Plugin Doctor version 2. There's two great things about this. Number one, if you own Plugin Doctor version 1 already, this is a free update, so head over to the DDMF website and pick up your copy. And number two, and this is huge, we can now run Plugin Doctor within the DAW as a plugin, hosting plugins within it, and kind of a being back and forth and analyzing at the same time. So rather than needing to go into a separate app, which is what we had to do before, we can run it right within our session. There's a lot of other small tweaks here and there. We're not going to really go into detail on those today, but just see how incredibly useful it is to run it within your session. I've got an example here right now. This is on a guitar bus, and I've got two versions of basically the same plugin, both from Plugin Alliance, an older version on the left. This is the BX Console E, obviously an SSL E series console emulation, and then the newer licensed version on the right, the SSL 4000E BX console. Basically the same plug in two different versions of it. What I did is dial in the exact same settings with the EQ on this guitar bus. I did a low shelf 3 dB or so, 3.6 dB at 300 Hertz on both of these. And then I did 7 dB at 2.4 K. So if you didn't have Plugin Doctor available within the doll and you're trying to compare these two back and forth, you could AB them, but you wouldn't know exactly what was going on, and you might prefer one over the other due to a reason that can be easily rectified, easily solved. We'll look at that in a second. So you can AB audio playing through Plugin Doctor now. We have this little slider up here, play number one, play number two. When it's play number one, we've got our first insert right here. That's the one on the left. And our second insert right here is for play number two. That's the plugin on the right. So let's play it. And I'll jump back and forth between the two plugins. So if you didn't see the frequency analysis here, you might say to yourself, I prefer a plugin number one. It sounds a little more lively, a little brighter. I like that. But here's the thing. These two, even though we match the knob settings, do not have the same frequency response. Plugin number one, the old one on the left here, is actually peaking around 2.8K or so for our 2.4K setting. And plugin number two, the newer version, the Con BX Console SSL 4000E, is more like 2.1K or so. So it's inevitably going to sound a little bit duller. To fix this within Plugin Doctor, all we have to do is match those curves. So I'm going to boost up the frequency of the second one, match them as close as I can. And now when we AB them, it should be a lot closer in terms of our frequency response. So they're obviously very, very close right now. And all we had to do was see the analysis and bump it over. So if this is a new plugin you were looking to buy and you were comparing it to an older plugin you have and you didn't have Plugin Doctor available within the DAW, you might think just from the sound of it, I prefer one over the other when all we had to do was really make sure that the settings actually matched in terms of what's actually happening with the frequency response and not just what the knobs say. This is also great within the DAW if we just want to use a standard digital EQ to try to match some of these analog inspired curves. So I've got FabFilter Pro Q3 here up on the screen, and we're going to see if we can sort of match the shapes we're getting with the SSL plugin. So there we go. I matched the curves really closely. You'll see a little bit of difference down here of a few dB, but that's really sub-information below 5 hertz, out of really our audible range. So what really matters is we matched them up here, and now we can A-B back and forth between just the standard digital EQ and the SSL emulation and see if we like one better or hear a difference. We're going to start with number one, that's the Fab Filter. I'll toggle back and forth a little bit faster.
I'm not sure if you hear a difference. If you do, let me know in the comment section. But if there is one, it's minimal. There is very little difference between those two now. So if you're looking at just the EQ section of the SSL versus the standard digital fab filter version, you can get really, really close and potentially save yourself a lot of money buying plugins you might not necessarily need. It's amazing what you can get done with just a standard digital EQ and compressor versus a hundred different analog emulations. So those are just a couple of small uses of Plugin Doctor within the DAW. If you have any other things you use Plugin Doctor for, of course, we didn't get into the harmonic analysis, the Hammerstein, the oscilloscope, dynamics, performance, any of that stuff. Let me know down in the comment section what you use it for. But for just this basic plugin comparison here within the DAW, allowing us to run audio through it and AB it very easily while seeing the frequency response on the screen, incredible for that. And again, if you own version one, go grab your free copy of version two. Highly recommended. If you have any other questions or comments, let me know down in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already, so we can keep you in the loop as to what's coming up next, and I'll see you in the next one.